Vision where you are just trying to get ultimates out of the side of Immortals. They really don't have anything to work with. Agility's Dragon Blade is waiting for him to come in through the door. Oh, what they got! Green Earth! Was that? They were all stacked in the server room! The hell was that? Born on December 27th, 1999, Brady Agility's Girardi is a rising star in the Overwatch community that has gone from a young boy hailing from a small town in Canada to become one of the most feared DPS players in the Overwatch League. Point. It was just all in oh, vision. I think this is Don, it. This has to be it. This is it. Yes, we get to see it. <laughs> yes. Oh my. He gets booped back, goes through. Oh, what is that? <laughs> they lost, but that still was so sick. At a young age, Agilities was introduced to the world of competitive gaming thanks to his older brother, who often played games such as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 with his friends. After spending time with various PlayStation 3 titles, Agilities would eventually put down the controller and adopt a mouse and keyboard as he made the move to PC gaming. In 2014, Agilities first laid eyes on the game that would propel his name into esports stardom. While browsing the internet, Agilities came across the original Overwatch announcement trailer and immediately knew that this was the game that he wanted to get into. I think it was the original, the original announcement trailer of the gameplay, uh, like saying like Reaper and stuff like that. Just the, the idea of the characters and class-based shooter, like I, I really loved it. And the game made by Blizzard is a very good company, so I just kind of figured that it'd be a, it'd be a great game. So. I, I was gonna get into it for sure. The Overwatch style of the the characters, like I said, is really cool. I mean, it, it's not just guns like in Call of Duty, and there's like different characters, different abilities, which I found like really cool and a lot ref like it's more refreshing than Call of Duty because you can't just like, I mean, you have more versatility, I guess. So I think that is what appealed to me in Overwatch. With esports on the rise and Overwatch developing as a competitive title that would rival industry titans such as Dota 2 and League of Legends, the game was a good fit for someone like Agilities. Self-described as a naturally competitive person who would play sports such as badminton and soccer, Agilities immediately saw the appeal of Overwatch and began dedicating his time to fine-tune his mechanics and skills following the game's official release. While the competitive ladder was not initially available following the launch of Overwatch in May of 2016, Agilities, like many players, devoted time to playing as many games as possible in quick play. He would try out the entire cast of heroes, but figured out his preferred playstyle early on as a DPS player with a specialization as Genji. As the 222 semi dive meta began to establish itself, the cyborg ninja user had quickly begun to climb up the ranked ladder and commonly appeared on streams of high ranking North American players such as Seagull. His skill with Genji and secondaries such as Tracer and Roadhog eventually led to an offer from an amateur team known as Sodipop around July 2016. This would become the catalyst in launching his esports career. At the time, few had heard of this roster outside of those who had been keeping a close eye on the competitive ladder. But without a doubt, it consisted of some of the best talent North America had to offer including several names that have joined Agilities in the Overwatch League, such as San Francisco Shock's Nomi and his teammate Grim Reality. In their first online tournament, Sodipop managed to play second at the 13th Gosu Gamers Overwatch Weekly, taking home $213 after losing 3-1 to Luminosity Gaming, who was at the time one of the best teams in the nascent Overwatch scene. After enlisting Agilities and Aethan in place of Zoros and Decop, Sodipop would go on to rack up achievements such as a 4th place finish at the BTS Overwatch Cup and 3rd at the Alienware Monthly Melee August. Recognizing while in high school that the goal of becoming a full-time professional Overwatch player was realistically in his grasp, Agilities knew that this was the career path he wanted to follow and began to dedicate even more hours to refining his skills. Agility's first big break into the world of esports was when he was presented the opportunity to sign with Immortals towards the end of the summer of 2016. Led by Noah Winston, Immortals at the time were looking to become one of the leaders in the burgeoning Overwatch scene. They were looking to build on top of their success in other titles with the philosophy of nurturing up and coming talent into a dominant team as opposed to seeking immediate victory by signing an overwhelming amount of star power. Uh, they were very surprised, obviously. My mom was supportive, my brother was supportive. Um, 
I don't know, they, they, they like the idea of it. I, mean, I didn't have any ideas what I wanted to do before Overwatch, so I feel like now that I knew what I wanted to do, once I saw the contract from Immortals, like they just kind of uh, supported me from there. Agilities and the rest of Sodipop officially signed with Immortals on September 12th, 2016. Aside from helping out at his mother's flower shop, this contract marked his first job where he made money off of anything. The team debuted under the IMT banner at the Overwatch Open where they placed 13th through 16th and proceeded to compete in a series of online tournaments for the rest of the year. As the days passed under the watchful eye of the IMT management, Agilis began to understand the responsibilities that came with the lifestyle of a professional player. I feel like my perception of being a pro gamer was just kind of like, they don't really work that hard, they just show up and play. I didn't know how much went into it before I like even played. I mean, I didn't know they had to scrim eight hours a day and you had to you know, come to work every day and you know, try your hardest. I didn't know you had to compete for your spot to be able to stay a pro gamer. I thought you just kind of went in and played the games when the tournaments happened, but uh, it's just crazy how much actually goes into it that people don't know about. With the support of the coaching staff and an increased amount of practice with Grim Reality, both players continued to improve to a point where they had become widely known as one of the best DPS duos in North America. Quote, I think we kind of work off each other. We are both very young players and are considered very good in our roles. Also, we are kind of competitive in our own ways as well, and I think that helps us get better. At the dawn of 2017, Agilities would win his first major victory with a first place finish at the Overwatch Winter Premiere over Ghost Gaming, who at the time featured the Kungarna roster. With this win, Agilities and his team took home 40,000 US dollars, one of the largest hauls at the time in the competitive Overwatch scene. Following this victory, Immortals experienced a period of success, where they placed 3rd and 4th in Alienware monthly melees before being put to the test once again at the Carbon series, where they were looking for another win. Many fans had pegged LG Evil, which featured players such as Jake, as the heavy favorites to win the entire tournament. IMT qualified for the playoffs with a 6-4 record and made quick work of LG Evil 3-0 in the playoffs. The months that followed showed a decline in their performance as they lost to teams such as Selfless Gaming, which at the time featured the likes of Sinatra and Defran in the Overwatch Rumble. But they rebounded by early June after qualifying for Overwatch Contenders Season 0. Joined by Fate and Kariv, Immortal cemented themselves as one of the strongest teams in North America after emerging victorious 4-1 over Team Liquid. During the summer of 2017, Agilities made his debut as a member of Team Canada at the Overwatch World Cup. He put on a series of strong performances at the Katowice qualifier that translated into a 3-0 win over Team Netherlands to secure a spot for his country at BlizzCon later that year. Dragonblade found one, found two, you better believe it's gonna be three from this man, four kills from the Dragonblade, Canada were at risk of losing that point, and Agilities goes wild, it's five kills for the man, and the Netherlands are seeing red and white. Shortly after, Immortals have failed to make it out of a tough group stage at Contender Season 1, but there was little doubt that Agilities would be competing in the Overwatch League, as IMT had reportedly been acquiring a long list of impressive investors such as AEG, who were more than capable of footing the $20 million entry fee. Around this time, Overwatch League team announcements and leaks filled the news feeds of the community in the fall of 2017. Our young Canadian player, along with Grim Reality, was revealed as the DPS duo for the Los Angeles Valiant as a part of IMT's entry into the Overwatch League on October 31st. Agilities has been hailed as a Genji God, alongside Shader2K and Shadowburn, with much of his success coming from his mastery of Swift Strike and Dragonblade. Swift Strike moves Genji in a straight line for 15 meters, dealing damage to all enemies he passes through. The key factor is that any elimination that Genji participates in resets Swift Strike's cooldown. Agilities has shown great spatial judgment as he always dashes through targets to be around 1-3 to three meters behind them ready to clean up the kill with a melee or some shurikens. Dragonblade is one of the best cleanup alts in the game. It can deal 120 cleave damage every 0.85 seconds, and most importantly for our friend Agilities, it still resets Swift Strike if you score an elimination, allowing plays like this to be made. Play. 
from Agilities yet again. As sure as the sun rises and sets each day in Sweden, of course, at a very different time. An old favorite alt combo is the Nano Boost combined with the Dragon Blade, allowing the already terrifying ultimate to even cut through Zenyatta's Transcendence healing when combined. This strategy is more effective since Agilities uses Swift Strike to cancel his Dragon Blade animation to get maximum burst, allowing him to cut down targets through Transcendence, provided that he has a Nano Boost. Showing off the playmaking power of Genji and how Nano Blade is one of the most feared combos in the game. However, Genji is not the only hero we have seen the talented Canadian play. He has also shown his hand at both Roadhog and Junkrat, allowing Valiant to make mid-game composition swaps. His proficiency in a variety of heroes, honed from his time during the tank meta, affords Valiant the ability to adapt to the meta and remain competitive, a trait that will prove to be invaluable for any team in the Overwatch League. With the DPS role being one of the most saturated positions in the Overwatch League, Agility's skills will be put to the test heading into the later stages of the season. His abilities will be relied upon more than ever to control DPS monsters including the likes of Effect, Fleta, and Pine if the Valiant hope to climb further up the rankings. With a great start to Stage 1 for the Valiant, we can only expect great things from Agility's in the rest of the Overwatch League inaugural season. He is ready to take the league by storm and cut open a path to the top with his team. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other content and subscribe for more. As well, you can always click that bell for notifications as to when new content is uploaded. Otherwise, you can check out our other social media pages, and if you wish to join in the conversation, check out our Discord, all of which can be found in the links below. See you next time, and thanks for watching.